Astrid der Glenn die Mutter. We must all turn to the Order. It keeps people well placed. It is not truth, but true power. You desecrate the very purpose of life. No, no, no. I place power on power. The great becomes greater. You will see. I've heard all Danes are cursed with slow brains and fat tongues. Care to prove me wrong? Most men choose to be loud or stupid. Impressed that you manage both. I will take you on. Brilliant. Some flighting spirit. How about a wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Prepare to taste bitter defeat once our battle is done. Oh, ho, ho, terrible. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Earth. Ha! <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised. I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. Rest easy, Reeve. Your time has come. Yes. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a Reeve. you big and tall what's your name Eivor of the Raven clan Eivor of the Raven clan come here come closer do you like to drink as I like breathing and do you like to flight I do well listen here these folk aren't impressed by the speed of your thinking they will only respect you for how much you're drinking if you're sober, then leave, for there's not here for you. Oh, I'll shut your big mouth while I finish my brew. That's the spirit. Now make your wager. The ale's free to those who flight. I'll buy you a round with my winnings. How's that? Ha! I like this one. Are you ready? What about one more drink before we begin? For luck. 
for luck. Your face is a wreck. You're a blight on the Norse. Your face brings to mind the arse end of a horse. Brilliant! 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 Yes! Have another drink! Yes, yes! Here's the next one! You're a pig-headed, ugly excuse for a dame. Now to look upon you leaves my eyes in great pain. You're brilliant! You're the smartest person I've ever met. You hold your own. Let's have another! I'm a champion, a winner, I'll claim the top prize. You can break a proper ruse lies. <laughs> that was the most incredible flighting I've heard in all my years. You are a wonder. I say the same of you, friend. Three cheers for Eivor, the most masterful wordsmith in all of England! So he says, but the only thing he ever catches is more gambling debts. I fear I cannot keep him around. Bah! You're better off without that wastrel. My husband should be back by now. The poor log worries me so. <laughs> I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. Jorvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Here. This marks few members of the Order. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There are more medallions to collect. I have to go. Then go in peace. A message has come. Tidem the Eivor. How do you feel, Eivor? I... Uh, I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Juvina and Jorts aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back-alley brawls. I should talk to Hytham. I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. Ah, here is something for you. 
An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I'll speak with Ranvi. Get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. I want to see the alliance map. Python received a message from Winchester, from someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Your hidden ally. Very interesting. More targets, I assume. Yes. So what do you think? Could it be a trap? As a West Saxon stronghold, Winchester will be a rather unwelcome place for you. But that is nothing you cannot handle. If you go, do not go boldly. I'll make my way to Winchester. The letter asked me to meet a man in white at a house of God, and then recite this phrase. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowly cometh wisdom. A passage from their holy book, I believe. Interesting. Go with care. Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas... I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. If I must dance to your tune, tell me where to step. In books one may find such wisdom. We had many in England, before the Danes burned our churches. A few yet remain nearby. Or perhaps a more pious soul in need of charity will reward you with a lesson.
I have nothing for you now, but I will return. Even the mighty fall. And God's servant, the Bishop Ailes. Yes, I said me foot! Yes, sir! Good day. What is your name? I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. And are you a flighter? When the mood strikes, do you wish to flight with me? Oh, no, certainly not. I don't engage in such things. Haven't the head for it. My brother, however, he is quite proficient. Ah, then you wish to compete with me. I should mention, my brother has taken a strict vow of silence. If you wish to flight, I will translate and relay his verses. I think I understand. Good. Hark! To those gathered round, wave your hands and rejoice. I shall trounce this poor fool without use of my voice. Such is his challenge. Do you wish to face him? I'll happily challenge you. Sorry, him. Here you are, my bet. Good. Now remember, it is not me you are flighting. I am but a conduit for his words. I will keep this well in mind. Good. He is ready. Come you closer, friend Eivor, and lend me your ear. The most cutting of flights from my mouth you'll not hear. But by proxy I'll call you a milksop and boor. Though you speak through another, your flighting's still poor. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. I'll topple you over with nary a word. I'm devoted to flights, though to silence avowed. Though you choose to be quiet, your folly is loud. Oh my! Your visage is ghastly. I'm cowed by your stink. I should like to write more, but you're not worth the ink. So, a last parting phrase. You're as dim as they come. I will easily crush you beneath my thumb. Very fine work. As an impartial observer, I must say you won. Thank you. My brother has a few parting words. You have bested me squarely and thus won the day. So take what you've earned now and hurry away. I will. Farewell to you both. Good morrow, good morrow. Once more, you seek an audience with Milady. This time, I will not fail. How quaint that you think so. Milady, the stumble-tongued Norse person has returned. Oh, pity this poor little chirpless bird. I will do my best not to harm you too badly this time. I'll take your wager before you begin. Take this. Hmm. A pittance. But I accept on the lady's behalf. She will begin. I have heard much about you, and none of it good. You've the softness and brains of a sheep. My verses are known all across this great land. You're speaking much more than you should. Simply awful. 
Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. I'll defeat you and banish all doubt. <laughs> Lucky. I should almost take pity on one so bereft, of beauty, of wit, and of skill. But instead, I'll persist till you beg me to stop. Lend a soul for your words make me ill. Where did you steal that one from? Thus the Lady Alette has been beaten at last, by the one she was foolish to doubt. Now her herald must give me the sum of my bet, while Alette can but stand there and pout. Oh, pay what is due and send this peasant away. I grow weary. Of course, milady. Take your winnings, you have earned them. Thank you. Oh, look at you, Dewey. Eivor, I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now. And I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydonay by now. <clears throat> if Eivor does not show soon, I am packing up and riding home. Shut your blowhole, Broder. You want me to tell Halfdan how easily you break an oath? <laughs> oh, brother. Did you forget she has Halfdan Jarls here? Stop talking if you know what's good for you. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. 
Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Aver hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. That snake, Fulke, hides behind walls of stone. But Eivor will drag her out. Still got a soft spot for her, don't you, brother? Him and Eivor? <laughs> Lower your aim, friend. You'll have better luck. Luvina, once again we battle side by side. Greetings from the north, old friend. And how is your? Still griping about the mess we made of Jorvik's council. But grateful for the help. To be honest, I think he's upset he didn't see the problem sooner. His pride is slow to heal. Thank you for heeding my call, friend. Sigurd will be grateful when he hears you have come. For your brother, I would upturn every rock in England. Eivor, you giant steaming bull of Eldpiss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. Or is it the other way around? It's... Uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten. He's been moping since the wedding. There'll be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. They said there would be a scout on this hill. I smell blood on the air. Go, my eyes. Ha! Death is close. Did someone find the scout before me? Slain by wolves. My work has been done for me.
there, a scout. No tales to Fulke now. was carrying orders from Fulke. Bassam would like to see this. I've seen to the scouts. Bassam and Guthrum will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. to Valhalla, but not you. The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. A leader should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croindonen's fall. She's gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I am reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breath for the fight. Either way, they die. Yeah! 
They flee like rabbits. Then we chase them like hounds. That ugly bastard's head is mine. Not if I get there first, slow ours. Leave him. The day is already won. <laughs> Death has found you, Saxon! You'll join your friends soon enough. Is it for that withered bag of skin you fight? For Sigurd the Sickly? If Sigurd dies today, I will find your corpse and piss on it! <laughs> You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. When you see your guard, tell him I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> He is dead, Davor. No breath within him. Gods, oh. I've never seen the raucous bastard so quiet. You are wounded, brother. Let me bear your brother to the camp. He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. Even in death, he had to be first. This crow feast is my doing. No blame stains you, Eivor. He cut his own path. No always did. For him, there is no more strife and pain. Only glorious battle and the forever feast. Great. Oh. Reckless stripling. I warned you the risk was too great. Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. 
You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine, knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. And too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forborn now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stove, Juvena, ride there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. Besides, they're men of Vasex, Alfred's folk, no brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together, we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildefort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I'll join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. Uber Regnason, it puts me at ease to see you here. Welcome. Ava Wolfkiss tempts me with a swipe at Wessex. Who am I to resist? <laughs> Here we might finish the work your father began a decade back. Are you ready? More than ready. I am hungry. Now here is a welcome face. Soma. How fares Grendebridge? We thrive, just as we did our first year. And I have you to thank for that. The risk I took was far less than you're taking now. I thank you for heeding my call. An oath is an oath, Eivor. Silver-gilded and iron-clad. What I would give to be there when he appears in Odin's Hall. Old One I will have his hands full tonight. But I cannot let my brother lie forgotten in unknown soil. I must take him home. Bury him with what finery I can muster. I understand. May Freya watch your way, brother. Until we meet again. Aye. 
Until then. Passing through my land, sure. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men are not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong. You know the people of this isle better than I, Stowe. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London, and this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London, we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking. He's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you... Attack! Brave try, friend, but now we do things my way. When words fail, iron speaks loudest. We keep our wits about us. Hours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stowe? Even one man's death is too many. Now I must see about destroying Fulke's supplies. <clears throat> Thor lends me strength. 
how will we ever share this land if we kill one another so readily? The weak fall beneath the strong. It has always been so. No. There is more to this world than that. It has to be. 